Hi everyone, what we cover in this video is as follows. Take the standard Brownian motion. Its values at a given time horizon will be normally distributed. The familiar bell-shaped curve. Now consider an exponential transformation of this Brownian. This is the geometric Brownian motion really, which is easy to recognize in its differential form. So here we have set sigma equal to 30% and we assume the initial value of s is equal to 1. Its distribution at the same horizon will be log normal, which has a different shape, very peaked here. Also notice the domain is not negative because of the exponential function. The purpose of this video is to show how the two shapes that we see here are linked which comes down to explaining the peak and long tail of the log normal distribution really. Let's start with the standard Brownian motion and let's say we are interested in its distribution at time t equal to 1. So it will just be the standard normal which is normal distribution with mean equal to 0 and standard deviation equal to 1 and its distribution is easy to plot using the empirical rule. What it says is 68% of the values lie within one standard deviation. As the distribution is symmetric around zero, we can split it into two bars. We then know 95% of the values lie within two standard deviations. Subtract 68% that we already allocated and split the remaining into two bars on either side. We then do the same for the third and the remaining values are mostly within 4 standard deviations. There are values beyond 4 but they are so infrequent that the bars are hardly visible. Now that was easy but our main interest is in the distribution of the exponential of this Brownian. So let's first plot the exponential function. If you substitute minus 7 for wt you will get 0.12 if you substitute minus 6, then you will get 0 0.16 and so forth. You will get this 7.81 if you substitute 7 for wt. Let's connect the points. So we see the exponential shape emerging. The line becomes steeper as one goes to the right. You can easily see this by drawing horizontal and vertical lines. So you see here the curve travels a large distance in the y direction as we take a step up one in the horizontal direction. And we see that the vertical distance per unit horizontal distance declines as we move to the left. You expect nothing else from the exponential function right so it all makes sense. We are now going to try to make sense of the shape of the log normal distribution of the geometric Brownian. When w takes values between 1 and 2, the exponential function takes values between 1.29 and 1.74. As both represent the same underlying event, their probabilities must be equal. However, the width of the Mach interval is smaller, so we need to shrink the rectangle to match the size of the interval. But we need to preserve probability, so to compensate for the decrease in width, we elongate the height to the next bar then. When w takes values between 0 and 1, the exponential takes values between 0 0.96 and 1.29. The probabilities of the two corresponding intervals must be equal. Again, the interval gets mapped to a shorter interval, so we will have to shrink its width and then compensate for the reduction in width by stretching the height. Next, when w takes the values between minus 1 and 0, the exponential function maps these values to the range 0 0.71 to 0 0.96, so the probabilities must equal. But now, the width of the interval is even shorter, so we shrink the width a bit more and then the height will have to increase by a bigger factor to preserve the total area. We can apply the same thing to the minus 2 to minus 1 interval, setting the two probabilities equal to each other, shrinking the width and then stretching the height. 
and then to the interval from minus 3 to minus 2, the width gets smaller, so the height has to increase more proportionally. And the width keeps shrinking as we move to the left. We see the reverse on the other side. For example, the W values between 2 and 3 map to the range 1.74 to 2.35, which is bigger than the ranges we have seen so far. So the height doesn't increase too much. And as you move to the right, the range will continue to expand and very soon smaller intervals of W will map to longer ranges, but the size becomes too small to be visible. So we stop here. Now, if you draw a smooth curve through the bars, you will get the peaked long tail shape of the log normal distribution that we saw at the beginning which is the one-dimensional distribution of the geometric Brownian. So everything is down to the parameters that enter the exponential function. Now, as an exercise, could you try to explain what shapes the distributions will take if we set t equal to 3 instead of 1? Please give a thumbs up if you would like to see similar videos, and I look forward to seeing you in the next.